Welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we would like to show you how to set up a compression geometry on the ARIES G2 rheometer for DMA mode testing. The ARIES G2 rheometer is capable of performing both shear testing and axial DMA mode testing on samples. To perform compression measurement, we need to first attach a parallel plate to the instrument. Then, in TRIO software, select Compression as the testing geometry. Since this same parallel plate geometry can do both shear and compression measurement, it is important that the operator select the correct geometry name for the correct type of test. For shear testing, the operator should select Parallel Plate Geometry. Then the instrument will move under shear deformation mode. For compression testing, the operator needs to select compression geometry so the instrument will move in axial compressive mode. If this compression geometry file has not been created previously, then the operator will need to create this geometry file before performing any compression testing. Under the geometry list, click on Add New Geometry. Then select Compression. Choose the correct sample dimension, for example, cylindrical. Follow the procedure to finish creating this geometry file. Then TRIOS will lead you to perform the geometry calibration. The first calibration is to measure the upper tube mass. Follow the instruction in TRIO software. Remove the upper geometry. Then click on Tear. When this is done, mount the upper geometry and click on Measure. After it is completed, click on Commit to finish the tool mass calibration. The second step is to read the alignment position. From the instrument control panel, under the motor control bar, click on this Go to Home Position icon and move the motor to its home position. Then, in TRIO software, click on Read. The third calibration is the two thermal expansion. We can select to use Maintain Zero Gap at a constant force of 1 Newton. The temperature range and heating rate needs to match the same conditions as required for sample testing. However, if the compression measurement is conducted at isothermal temperature, then this calibration step is not needed. After all calibration steps are completed, close this page. From the instrument control panel, perform geometry zeroing at the test start temperature. and then set the motor to the alignment position. We are now ready to use this plate to perform compression testing. Please note that DMA compression testing is designed to measure soft materials such as gels, foams, or rubber sheets above their glass transition temperature. For example, setting up a compression frequency sweep test on a foam sample will include two steps. In the first conditioning step, the operator needs to set up the appropriate initial preload force and the force tracking conditions based on the sample stiffness. Then, in the second step, set up the specific frequency sweep test parameters. In this TA Tech Tip, we have learned how to set up a compression geometry on the ARIES G2 rheometer for DMA mode testing. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.